Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Bods. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You join me today for a brick haul and I apologise first for the slightly clickbaity title. I mean, it, it will turn out to be true once I've finished my rant. And also for those who attend like my live streams, they'll already have heard this rant, but I felt it needed to, to reach a few more people. So I'm gonna rant again. And I, I really love ranting. So this package here has a story behind it. I'm gonna open it first to show you what's in there and then we will talk about the rant. So we'll start with the big one. Okay, we may start the rant slightly earlier than expected. Why do you ship a box in a box? I get don't ship the the thing in its like beautiful box, but I'm quite happy for you to stick a label in this box. That is fine with me. I don't wanna to have to open up two lots of packaging. Ah, oh, extra rant I wasn't expecting. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. I am super excited for this set. And I think that is where I made my error. So I pre-ordered this set way back, thinking I really love this set, I really want it. Not really thinking about Lego's pre-order policy because I haven't ever really, I don't, I don't think that I've ever pre-ordered anything actually, but never anything that I cared as much about getting as this. So this is my only day one, or pre-day one I guess, because it's a pre-order, June the 1st release buy. And June the 1st was in the middle of a half term, so I probably wasn't going to make it to the Lego store anyway. So getting it from lego.com kind of made sense. But I didn't I, I didn't think about any of this. I just went, pre-order, I really want this. Day one, I'll get it. Because in my head, that's what pre-order means. They get it all ready. They've got time to get everything ready. And then they ship it out day one. And yes, I probably like didn't expect to get it day one. But I got this on the 5th of June. That's a full four days after it was released in the stores. And for a pre-order, that's just not acceptable. So I will never, ever be placing a pre-order again. Uh, thanks for the customer service guy who pointed out how close I do live to a Lego store. Not the most helpful thing to have told someone when they're already annoyed with you. But anyway, I will not do this again. So I think there were a couple of factors at play here. I, the thing that I think is definitely wrong is the fact that they don't get them ready in advance and ship them all on day one. Yes, they may have a, a large number of orders, but they've known about these pre-orders for quite some time, especially in my case. I, it was a while ago that I pre-ordered this. That gives you time to do the logistics up front. This was not picked from the warehouse until the 2nd of June, after I had complained about the fact that it wasn't already on its way because I really, 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 really wanted this set. So that's that's just not acceptable for me. I, I understand they don't want to ship them out early. They don't want to ship them out before day one, but definitely ship them out on day one. You can't, you can't get away from that. So there's a second part to this story and that, that requires me to open the, the second package. So we've got a Mickey Mouse key, keychain and a Minnie Mouse keychain. Now I didn't buy those keychains. I personally don't see the point of keychains. Um, I don't want something that bulky on my key rings. If I was gonna order a keychain, it would probably be for my kids and I would order the same ones because if I try and give these to my children, one is gonna complain that they haven't got many. Um, like there's no way I order two different things. And I was very surprised when the order that this was on had those two things on the, the order. And I, then I remembered that it was actually, I ordered this in order to get the gift with purchase, the flower pot one, the botanical set that came. And I knew Ian really, 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 really wanted that set. So I made sure to follow up the order when it hadn't arrived after a couple of weeks. I was like, why why have I not got the gift with purchases? I understand this is a pre-order, I'm not gonna get that, but where are my gift with purchases? And it turned out they'd been accidentally marked as back order, even though they had the stock. So I was relieved that they had the stock. The lady I spoke to at Lego was so delightfully helpful. She was like, Oh, I'll, I'll send you out some new ones. I'll like cancel that part of the order and reorder it. And then when I looked a couple of days, she goes, I'll, I'll keep an eye on your order just to make sure everything goes okay. And then when I looked a couple of days later, there were these two keychains, and I'd got an email saying that they were on their way. So I think she, as like a way of apology for those being wrong, picked me these as well. I don't know. Maybe something else happened, but I, I'm unaware. But then these got stuck and they never arrived. And so when I was complaining about the fact that the pre-order item didn't arrive, I thought I'd point out, I've also got this other delivery 
it says it's shipped it's never arrived and they're like oh yeah it's stuck in customs that's weird and so they reshipped that so another thing that she did was also upgrade the delivery to express and again i think that was a big mistake so in the uk we get our lego from dpd they deliver certainly in our area at least on a saturday Ian had ordered a parcel that was not Lego related, but he'd had an email saying it was going to come on Monday. It came on the Saturday because I know DPD will just bump it up because they, they deliver it Saturdays. Whereas this, because it had been bumped up to Express, came via DHL, who don't ship on Saturdays. So that is what elongated it from like coming up on the Saturday all the way to the Monday. So actually, she didn't really do me a favour. I thought it was going to serve me better, but because they ship so slow... It didn't serve me better. I didn't get this in time for our live stream. And now I have to choose between continuing the the build that I'm going to be building on Sunday versus dropping it and trying to build this because I really, really, really want to build this. So I guess I'll just give you a quick overview of why I'm excited about this. I mean, you just have to look at it. The number of mini dolls in that set, including ones that we've never had as mini dolls before. So you've got Pocahontas in there. You've got Tinkerbell as a mini doll. Wendy and Alice in Wonderland, so that's great to add to our mini old collection. But also, this set has a whole, like, elvesy theme to me. It just looks like it will fit really well in with my old sets, and I love it. I do think the selection of mini dolls is a, a little strange. There's not all of them there, and you could just say it's Disney Princess and get all of the Disney Princesses in there, but they've chosen to add in the, the, the Frozen characters, and Alice and Wendy and Tinkerbell, who aren't Disney princesses. Oh, and I guess Mirabelle as well, because she's not yet. But I'm I'm not complaining. Look, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen mini dolls. It's a win for me. I just really wish it had come a lot quicker than it did. And so I will never, ever, ever pre-order from Lego.com again. It's just not worth it. I can just buy it. I think I, I could even have bought it day one and got it faster. It, it means nothing to pre-order it. So if you think pre-ordering is going to get you something quicker, think again and don't bother. So there it all is. Sorry again for the little rant or the big rant, I guess. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this set. Are you as excited as I clearly am? Also, what do you think of keychains? Like, do you love having those on your keys or are you again thinking a bit too bulky? And also, if you want to see other Brick Hauls, I'll link up a Brick Haul playlist at the end. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. See you later!